hello there welcome to my channel to the returning subscribers thank you for your continuous support thank you for always taking out time to watch my content i hope you learn a lot from them and if you are new here my name is insung rawili i am an international student currently undergoing my master's in france i share content on master's application my life here as an international student i do vlog and share other useful content so if these are the kind of things that will interest you please kindly like my videos share them and subscribe to my channel thank you for this video i'm going to share with you um, a simulation for the master's application for total energy scholarship and also to ifp school i have promised that in my um, previous video as you can already guess i did not have to wait to see the number of views i had on that video to make this one because the main thing for me is that i'm able to share important and useful information and i'm just able to influence someone's life there or help at least one person out there in applying successfully to um, any of the master's program they wish to apply to so i'm just going to make a simulation for at least one of the schools and let's see how it goes um please watch the end so that you don't miss out on any of the important points that i'm going to be sharing so the first one we are going to be looking at is geodata management for energy mix so um this is the application this is the um advertisement from total energies i'm going to drop the link in the description and if you can read here it says in addition to this offer you must send an application to ifp and i'm giving you the link in order to be considered for a scholarship by total energies like i mentioned it in my previous video you have to apply to both the school and total energies it's actually very important for you to be considered and this school is intended for students who wish to join ifp school and to benefit from sponsorship with total energies during the studies for this program and if the sponsorship program appeals to you please submit your application by replying to this offer before the 31st of march 2023 these applications received the applications received after this date will not be considered and i'm giving you the context the candidate prof profile and everything so they say fluent in english like i say most of these courses have been taught in english and um toic um greater than 785 i don't think it's actually mandatory for you to um sit for these exams like it's information to be provided or a test to be requested by the school so i think if you're already taught in english you may not really need to write a test maybe they can make a test for you there because even for the school they have processes in the applications like in the um admission process i think after you apply you're going to have interviews maybe like two interviews i'm not certain but when we get there we'll, we'll know about it so for now i'm just going to um lead you through the application for um total energies and you can see the experiences here and the location of the school and everything it's actually in paris in the department is um good to that's the department they call it okay so um you're going to apply to the job or you can apply with linkedin i'm just going to apply to the job on the website so let's get started estimated time three to five minutes very short um i click let's get started so i already have an account here on total energies obviously so i did not need to like start creating any account but if this is your first time on the total energies website you have to create an account and after creating an account you can now log in to search for this information or to apply and uh, we can add our cv i'm just going to add a cv browse i'm just going to add a cv that i have here um so like you can already guess i'm not going to submit this application it's just to help people when they are applying for it i'm going to submit this okay i've updated i've uploaded my um my cv and it's already auto fill for me the origin i don't have a disability and then um save and continue oh i think that's it it's very fast okay so i think they just need your cv and it auto fills everything and then you send your application that is it <laughs> i'm going to stop here since i'm not i'm not going to submit it anyways guys as you can see this this was very straightforward it was very very straightforward i think what you should take note of then since it's basically your cv that you're looking for make sure that you structure your cv very well like make sure you structure your cv very well if you have to um um, pay for a service for them to help you review your um, cv people you, know, you have people that review cvs um or ask a friend you don't maybe you don't need to pay because i'm always advising do it on your own if you have a friend that knows how to um structure cv very well 
I think I know of some person that can do that. You go to them, you can browse online, how you can write good CVs. You have this information on LinkedIn. Take your time to browse how to write a good CV for maybe geo data management. A good CV for that, you can, you can browse on that. And it's, I think I advise you send an academic CV because it's going to be school. You can talk about maybe a publication you have done before if you have any. And write your experiences that are related to this particular program. And maybe for you, before you send your CV, I would advise you go to the school's website to see um, what are the skills that is required in this program. And maybe that's what you are going to look at now. So the next thing we are going to be looking at is applying to the school. Applying to the school. And I'm already there on their website. I'm going to drop the link on the description. And if you come to the school's website, you click here on Formation. And in the format formation is going to lead you this is the course you are uh, applying for now geodata and management for energy mix or the link you can always find it on the on the advertisement that total uploaded it was there already you can just like copy that link to apply directly for it or you come here to apply for it uh, maybe I should use the link I'm going to copy the link and paste it here all right so it lists you directly for where you can apply so you can do that or you use the school website anyone that is that you're comfortable with i'm just going to go ahead to um use the school website use this one that you already have here okay you have here welcome that the campaign for the registration is started from november like i mentioned about the timeline in my previous video the timeline is 15 november to 31st of march and you have to create your your student account but if you're a returning um student or a returning um register should i call it that way maybe i've already created your account i just want to sign in you can just come here to connect they connect yourself that's the meaning so i'm just going to create create a dossier because we are new so creating a dossier um i'm going to change this to english for your sake so translate to english Okay, so as part of your application, IFP sets up the process to collect your personal data, blah, blah, blah. You're just going to create an account here. I'm a woman. <laughs> and this name, I'm just going to make it auto fill for me. Okay, so I have it there. Okay, so um, my email, my this thing has been created now. I'm going to go to this my email. The email has been sent to me, but you don't have to click any link there for you to confirm your account. They just tell you in the email about your credentials so that you don't forget it and your document number so right now we're just going to continue and fill in everything that we need to fill in so i'm going to fill in my letters guys you can always translate this to english just to save yourself when you're applying because all your websites need to be in french so origin of my the, the diploma that's the certificate i have so for me, we'll assume if you studied engineering, you can use engineer or use BSc. So if you have an engineering degree, I think you should use engineer. Level of studies. So we are going to choose the back, back four because back four um, in French or in France is equivalent to bachelor's degree. So I'm going to choose back four. You know, that's what I said in one of my videos. If you're watching the difference between M1 and M2. M1 here is like... Um, the final year of your bachelor's for example that's how they consider it here. and back five is like your master's too so say if you're if maybe if you, you put the city and your school name wasn't there you can just put it here but for us it was there already in nigeria so i don't have to put it you have to fill in maybe your high school too and your university because they're telling me it's empty so let's check it out so this so i cannot leave it empty so that means it's mandatory you have to fill into school so i i think for this first one you should put in maybe your your high school the secondary school you graduated and they cost whatever you did was it science you can do science or whatever thing and uh, so let's check for the secondary school so in this one you see it's only one choice that is of this mandatory the second and the third are optional so what is the choice of your program okay I'm going to translate it to English for your sake. So that means in this one application, you can apply to like three of those courses. Mm -hmm. So you can apply to three of those courses. And we have here, we are doing geo data, right? Energy and market. 
we're not going to feel this you're not going to feel this if you come down here this year lower and say if you wish to be a candidate for the specialized master geodata management for energy mix you must submit your application here oh la la so we have to submit our application here in this website but they say it's not available so i don't know why they say it's not available all right guys so as you all could see we encountered an issue with this particular um application for geodata management for energy mix and i'm happy i even started with this one so at least i can relate to your problems so um there is an email there you can always email the school send them a, 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 the school an email letting them know um what's up they cannot apply to this program but in the meantime you can always choose, make other choices like you see the you have the um opportunity to choose like up to three make three choices but um if you apply to like three options here yeah, i think you should also apply um the same thing to total like different three courses that you have applied to the school so so um that is it for this one i'm going to try doing it for the other courses and we'll see where it leads us to and thank you for watching this video up to this point thank you for following it i hope that it actually helped you i hope that you're able to learn something from it and it's going to help your own application too and if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel what are you waiting for what are you waiting for please subscribe to my channel and encourage a child please thank you and see you in my next video bye